Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a shifter that doesn't really shift in the correct gear. Like right now it's saying it's in reverse and really it's in neutral and this just feels really sloppy. There's a lot of play. Like a whole lot of play. And then sometimes when you put it in park, it's really not in park. You go to try to start the car again and it won't even start. And that's because it's not in park. And you can see even just in park, there's a lot of play in this. This is typical on Ford vehicles. Right now I'm in a Ford Windstar, and I'll show you why it's doing this. It's an easy free fix. So we're gonna look under the steering wheel. We don't have to take anything apart. Just find your brake pedal and go under here. Now here's your brake pedal. You're gonna follow the brake pedal up until you get to the steering column. You can see if I move the steering wheel, this moves. So then we wanna look behind this and kind of up to the side and you can see right here these two bolts that have the Torx ends on them I'm gonna touch the gear lever and you can see that's what moves so that you're at the right location and what happens is these two bolts back out and loosen up so if I put my hand back here and I kind of just wiggle this around a little bit you can see how they're both loose and it allows a lot of slop in here, a lot of play. And that play gets transferred into this, which then goes to your transmission and shifts the gears. So easy fix, all we have to do is tighten these up. I'm actually gonna take them out and put thread locker on them. We'll do one at a time, and the thread locker will ensure that they don't get loose again. So we're gonna look at the engine here and just look at the shifter to make sure it's not loose on this end as well. You can see the transmission right there and there's where the shifter is. and that looks really smooth and solid. There's not much play. We're also gonna come around from this side and check this side. And again, there's not much play, so that's good. You always wanna check that just in case. So all you need is some thread locker and a size 30 Torx on this. So we're gonna take off one at a time. And then all we do is just add a little bit of this removable Loctite and this will just prevent vibrations from loosening up the bolt we only do one at a time so that this is really easy to align make sure it's nice and snug you don't have to go crazy tightening this but you definitely want to snug it up good and then we'll take this other one off And we'll do the same thing for this one, just a little bit of thread locker right on the end here. Go back in here and hand tighten it. And then finish tightening it with the size 30 Torx. Okay, now let's give it a shot and see how it feels. Okay. Ah oh, yeah. That feels real good. Now I can actually feel the gear nice and smooth there's not much play at all and it clicks right into the gear compared to before where I had no clue what gear I was in and it was just a mess and you can see there's not much movement in here hopefully this video was helpful if it was remember to give it a thumbs up also consider subscribing I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the comment section below on the screen are gonna be a bunch of videos popping up to get to those videos you could click on them on the screen, or you could find the links to those videos in the description below. Also in the description below are going to be the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. If you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out. 